Good morning, Tabernash, home of one of our favorite sponsors, YMCA Snow Mountain Ranch. And you can check them out at ymcasnowmountainranch.org. Tons of family-friendly activities there all year round. And they also have lodging too, so you can hang out there and then go tubing, go horseback riding, all sorts of cool stuff. And the Y actually also happens to be the home of our, our next uh, activity that we're going to talk yes. about a little bit too, here with Debbie Harris. So how are you doing, Debbie? I'm good, how are you? Oh, I'm just lovely, enjoying the little bits of sun we're starting to get now. Mother Nature's being kind. <laughs> have you been getting outside to do anything? Yeah. What yeah. are you like? Just eat, hiking. Hiking? Being out there, walking the dog. Biking? Biking in the mountain bike capital no, of Colorado? No, I'm not a biking person. But me neither. I bike like I fish, so both are bad. <laughs> um, we don't want to see me do either of those things. <laughs> so you are working with the post-prom party, right? This is my fifth year with the post-prom. Awesome. Um, what, and what is post-prom? Speaking of the Y, <laughs> okay. this year, um, prom and post-prom have been moved to the Y. Okay. They've been generous enough to allow us to stay there until the wee hours. Okay. Post prom is the event that um, immediately follows prom. Okay. It's an activity that's actually hosted by the parents um, to give the kids somewhere to go that there's no drugs and alcohol. Oh, perfect. So a nice so. safe place where kids can still continue to have fun after prom. Absolutely. Oh, Absolutely. cool. So what kind of activities do you have there? We I will heard be at the Kiva Center. Magician. Sorry. Oh, so go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. We will be at the Kiva Center. So uh -huh. we've got the climbing wall, the roller skating ring, basketball, volleyball, foosball, pool, all kinds of things that we hope they will have a blast. Oh, that'll be awesome. Time will go quickly. I wish I had that after my prom. We've been talking about proms. How was your prom? Well, <laughs> a long time ago. <laughs> How, it was, was it good, bad, fun? No, they were always fun. Oh, good. But, yeah, we didn't have quite the organized activities afterwards. Yeah, roller skating sounds awesome. Yeah. I wish I got to go roller skating yeah. after prom. That would be pretty exciting. And the Y is good enough. We'll have three of their staff members, so they're going to plan some organized activities. Oh, some great. Some really fun stuff and some games that they do on the roller skates and some of those other things to keep the kids happy, busy, and out of trouble. Oh, cool. So how do people contribute to this? Is this self-funded? Does the school pay for this? Mm, this You're is all for donors? the kindness of others. Oh, great. Yeah. Um, costs us somewhere around $9,000 to put the event on. And we're in the throes of fundraising right now. Prom is prom and post-prom are May 6th. Uh -huh. um, that means post-prom is May 7th because it starts yeah. at midnight. <laughs> <laughs> great. Um, but we are still looking for funds um, okay. to help with it. We have prizes and things to entice the kids to be there, food, the activities, people, that kind of thing. So if anyone's interested, we would love to have your donations or if you're interested in learning more <laughs> to consider donations, um, you can reach me at 970-531-7670. Awesome, well, that's, that's great. And don't use that number only for donations. That's right. That's Many what that number is for. <laughs> And uh, I think that's a great cause, too, because yeah. kids really need something safe they can do after prom that's still fun, and they can still hang out with their friends and continue the party. Yeah, and it, this all started actually in 1999. Um, 1998 saw a horrific accident. Three high school boys flying down 40 after um, prom partying and hit the Granby Bridge. Yeah. And went airborne. Oh. Went over the river, landed upside down on the other side. Um, Two were killed immediately. One crawled to the side of the road and survived a couple more days before he yeah. passed also. So really hard. Those kind of tragedies in a community like this are devastating. Right. I mean, anywhere. But we're all touched somehow. By right. And I think things. the the best part about that is it does spur this sort of positive movement now where we can have these great activities for afterwards, yeah. which is really cool. So yeah. all the kids can go do fun, safe stuff now. And, and parents can and parents can supervise and feel better <laughs> and feel safe about their kids. What's your sure. favorite thing there? I liked roller skating. So yes, what's uh, yours? Well, this is the first year we've had it there. So we're this will be a, a whole test, but we've done really cool things in the past and it's nice to have the change up. Um, we've had a hypnotist oh. who was wonderful. What did um, he teach them to do? What, what did he hypnotize he them had for? Them do it. It's amazing to have 120 kids and he pulls 30 out and he actually hypnotizes them. That's and they're being rock stars and he's got them doing all kinds of things, making all kinds of weird facial expressions I, and they don't remember it. I love that. We'll talk about more of the activities after our break and when you come back and join us here at Cooper Creek Square. So thank you so much and we'll join you back after the break. Thank you. 